Hey Pyros, Valmir here at Elite. I hope you guys are doing great. Guys, in today's video, we are actually going to explore the back of Elite Fireworks of New Hampshire. Now, we are a new business here, so obviously if you were to look at the inventory that we have here compared to Elite Fireworks of Texas, it's very different, but towards the end, actually, we are gonna go outside and show you a couple of containers. They're empty right now, but still we are starting that process and if you guys are familiar with elite fireworks of texas and you've seen obviously over there there's 26 containers and let's just say a lot more volume of firework gets moved and first of all check this out <laughs> if you guys are wondering what all this is uh this is our damaged now you might be like velmir that's a lot of damaged fireworks what are you gonna do with it and they're very damaged where we cannot actually shoot them ourselves. We'll just soak them in water and basically dispose them properly. Good amount of them actually, especially with the cakes, there might be something where it just visually, it's where it's gonna be very difficult for us to sell. Then what's gonna happen is of course, those we are probably gonna shoot them. So it's a mix of them. Now, since we opened on June 24th, so it's been a while, this is all the damage so far because I actually have not gone to shoot decent amount of items but definitely i'm not gonna lie guys between me and you these are some of my funnest fireworks to shoot but of course this is something that we would not sell give or take if something is very damaged of course we are not going to actually shoot it ourselves but anyway we are going to show you guys the back now it is a little bit crowded and of course right now obviously we are a very small team here at the lead fireworks of new hampshire right now so we make it work but a lot of the stuff that we have, of course, as you guys do know here at Elite, we are huge fans of Raccoon Fireworks, Winda, Brothers, of course, all the different Elite Fireworks brands, which we can be a little bit biased because it is our brand. And of course, I know recently we haven't had a lot of Black Hat containers, but I mean, that's going to be on the coming, but it's, it's a matter of time. And guys, I mean, if I were to show this to Suli or Castriot, which they are at Elite Fireworks of Texas, they're actually gonna be jealous of me of seeing this massive wall of hydras because guess what? In Texas right now, they don't really have any hydras. I think, I think they only have only like 30, 40 cases, which given that wholesales, retails, yeah, it's very, very limited, but we are pretty much set here. I know Memorial Weekend is gonna be pretty big here, so we are setting up with inventory and those. So all of the Elite Fireworks exclusive box kits, we have them all lined up here. So as you can see, for instance, right here, our Jinja Super Rec, basically it's a full line that goes straight that way. Our X Blast, Captain America, which has been selling pretty well. I mean, especially with the box kit price, it's a phenomenal deal. You basically get two cheaper than a lot of places. You might get just one. Thunderbox is an item that has been moving well. And even with this one, we're actually going to change it in the near future. So rather than having it, for instance, if you're familiar with Thunderbox, you do know that. So you get two Booming Thunders, two Strobing Thunders. We've been selling them well here, but it's an item based on statistics, really. It's like it doesn't sell as well as other extra large cakes because it's two and two. A lot of our customers actually do love the assorted packages. So for instance, something like Super 67, you get variety, but like the All-American Finale, which we don't have any right here. Cyborg Mania, we don't have any. So those, they do really, really well. So for instance, Thunderbox actually, we're gonna keep both cakes, but we are actually gonna add a third different extra large cakes. So it will be a fan cake, but you get more variety because of course people love that. Some bottle rockets, these Texas rockets, which fun fact about these. So they are called Texas pop rockets from Brothers, but when it comes to Texas regulation, they do not comply. Let me just show you real quick. So this is the Texas pop rockets from Brothers, which guys, if you know about the Texas fireworks industry, this will not be legal because it is way too small majority of pop rockets for texas they i mean they have to be 26 and a half inches 26 and one fourth of an inch tall this is roughly 15 inches so of course it is a texas pop rocket that does not comply with texas regulation so anyway guys we are back at the topic so we are going to show you this wall on this side which of course 
this is very useful because we can actually do a lot more variety. So what we've done in this side is actually items that we might not have as much variety. So for instance, if you looked on this side, you see that this whole line is all neon jellyfish. Obviously, because this is a no app, it's gonna take a lot of room. But on this side, it's basically each side has a little bit of inventory and then it allows us on top to put a different item. Of course, it is a lot of cases of artillery shells because I mean, First of all, I mean, we love raccoon artillery shells. So basically anything and everything that they have, we want to take it. And even for their brown box, I'm not going to lie, guys. I do love their design, really, you know, because uh, most brown boxes, if you look at from different brands in general, like, I mean, it just blends in. So, yes, it's not a colored box, but you still you do see the raccoon logo. There. Well, you have the raccoon logo here and then you see half of the side of the raccoon face. So. I do like it a lot. Of course, we have some window items here. So neon beef and basically a lot of the stuff that you are seeing right here is majority of them are items that we actually import. So if we import it, we sell it by the case. Some of the individual items because we didn't have the room, but for instance, something like from Pyro Demon, this is the demon shell that we don't import it. So we would sell it by individual unit. And then we got some chameleon shells on top, title bounds, some more ginger shells. So obviously some of the best Nishikikama effects in my opinion. But as you can see all in the back here, so we have actually put a bunch of different shells. So I mean, all in all on this side, as you can see, it is all shells. Whereas this side, it was basically all cakes beside the section that we have with some of the hydras and of course some more ginger shells. Now moving on this side, we have some smaller items. And then also guys on top, we do have some of the light stuff. So as you can see there, we have handheld snow cones, color smoke grenades and so on. So obviously we don't want to put a case of hydras. We don't want to put a case of uh, ghost tackler shells as an example, as an example from raccoon fireworks all the way on the third level because they're pretty heavy. Like we have the proper tools to grab them on top, but still they're pretty heavy. And of course, so we have some more awesome bottle rockets. Of course, these would not be legal in Texas. So it's kind of fun. I do like being here in New Hampshire because it opens the door for a lot more items because especially when it comes to bottle rockets, because Texas is very strict. Over here, we got a decent amount of 200 gram cakes from uh, Raccoon Fireworks. And like, I mean, as you can see guys, even this, for instance, it's a raccoon fireworks item, but you know, even with the brown box, I wish they continue kind of like some of the no abs and some of the shells that they have where it, they had that raccoon signature uh, look. So like definitely it's pretty nice, but anyway, so we have some more stuff. Now, as you can see, it's very cramped here. I mean, obviously we have the space to walk, don't get me wrong, but it is very cramped just because it is a small store. So for those of you who have not been to this store before, let's say you have been to Elite Fireworks of Texas, uh, definitely this is a much smaller store than the Texas store, just because when it comes to this store, we are, as you can see, we are utilizing, it's, I think it's like almost one fourth of the store really for storage space just because the actual lot of land is actually much smaller. We're gonna go outside in a bit as I promised to show you guys the back containers. Right now they're empty, but we are a lot more limited. And for those of you who have been to Elite Fireworks of Texas and you might be wondering like, Valmir, what is this? Like, why are you guys are not filling the stores? I mean, I did see some neon beefs in the back. So why are you not going all the way to eight feet? Well, guess what, guys? Uh, we were not aware of this regulation, but in New Hampshire, for instance, we, they don't actually allow us in any of the middle sections to go higher than a specific level. So that's why we've basically, there's an open space here, even though the shelvings, we've actually gone all the way up. We were not aware of that, but for instance, any of the outside walls, as you can see, for instance, for the retail level, this is an outside wall they allow us to go up to 12 feet, which gives us, for instance, a little bit more room so we can stock up. So a lot of light stuff, you'll see, we are very stocked up here at the Lee Fireworks of New Hampshire. So on the outside of the retail space, you notice that there's a lot of storage everywhere. But when it comes to the middle sections, in general, we've had to leave it a little bit empty. So same thing, as you look on this side, on the top level, we do see a lot of boxes and of course guys all the top level we have put 
lighter stuff, all the mortars, all the no abs, uh, basically, I mean, all the cakes, which typically are the more heavy stuff, they are in the back, and I did not show you, but also firecrackers are in the back just because they are very heavy. But anyway, guys, let's go outside real quick so that way I can show you the storage containers. All right, guys, so we are back here at the back lot of Elite Fireworks of New Hampshire. I am gonna show you guys this, but I'm not gonna open them. So they are locked, but right now there's actually nothing. We did have the state fire marshal came and so we've got a permits. So each state is a little bit different. So here in New Hampshire, for instance, the permitting of even storing fireworks, it's more strict than Texas, but again, it makes sense. And personally, I do like the rules here more than Texas, to be honest with you, just because I mean, right now, guys, we are open. In Texas, we would be closed. Basically, yeah, so we got three containers here. They are 20-foot containers. So as far as storage, guys, it's pretty much nothing. But of course, just like anything, it's, it's a start. And this is actually what we could fit given the small lot. This was the only spot at the moment that works that we can put storage containers right away. And, you know, this way we don't actually get on the way of any storage parking spots we are not established in new hampshire so it does take time but this give us gives us the flexibility to bring some more items for those of you who are visiting us in new hampshire but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in another video right here on our channel bye bye